Now, a 78-year-old American citizen has been sentenced by a Chinese court to life in prison on spying charges. John Leung, who is also a Hong Kong permanent resident, was detained two years ago by state security authorities. Authorities in Hong Kong have been notified and are now following up. China hasn't provided any further details. The sentencing comes as relations between Beijing and Washington are at their lowest point in 50 years. Ivan Watson joins us now. Ivan, when I read this story, I'm embarrassed to say I hadn't even, I didn't recognize his name. What, what more do we know about him and, and, and the charges against him? Right. Well, we really didn't know that this American citizen had been in Chinese custody for, for more than two years until the court in Suzhou uh, issued this statement today announcing that he had been sentenced uh, to uh, life imprisonment on the charge of espionage. They uh, identified the man as John Shinwang Leung, uh, 78 years old, a U.S. citizen, also uh, a Hong Kong permanent resident, who'd actually been uh, detained since April 15th of 2021. Uh, we don't have really further details on that, except that the Hong Kong government, the, the highest security official in the Hong Kong government, uh, did clarify in a press uh, conference that uh, the administration here in Hong Kong knew about this case going back to 2021, but did not add any further comments on this. Now, we've reached out to the U.S. Embassy, uh, and they also say that uh, they're not going to comment uh, on this case due to privacy considerations and that they have no greater uh, uh, priority than the safety and security of U.S. citizens overseas. Uh, I, I would like to add that just last week, the U.S. National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, he met for hours face to face with uh, his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi, in Vienna. And they had discussed a whole wide range of issues. But among the, the issues that Sullivan reportedly brought up were the cases of uh, Americans uh, allegedly wrongfully detained in Chinese custody Mark Sweden, Kai Lee, and David Lin. We did not hear the name of this in individual who's just received a life sentence in China. One final detail is that the Chinese government uh, has been tightening uh, the rules for what it defines as espionage. Uh, it passed a law uh, making it much stricter uh, some years ago and just last month has tightened those rules even more, making it uh, potentially very, very dangerous to hold on to any documents, even uh, any papers that the authorities could uh, judge to be a, a national security matter. Julia. Yeah, I mean, there's, um, there's so much detail in that. You know, what's quite fascinating and what stands out to me, actually, is what you said about those talks. Several hours on one occasion, I think I read eight hours worth of talks between high level officials and the choice here, Jake Sullivan, rather than the U.S. Secretary of State. Interesting timing, important breakthrough, given that I just said in, in your introduction, a 50-year low in relations. Important to, to be around a table and talking, I think, at this moment for many reasons. Absolutely. And also the fact that, I mean, this was uh, on Friday, that both the Chinese side and the White House put out remarkably similar statements, meaning that they, uh, for once, these two governments, their, their delegations were able to come to agreement, and not just about that, but also to agree that they would uh, maintain this important strategic channel of communication, and one step further, that they would build on the engagement between President Biden and President Xi that was reached back in Bali on the sidelines of the G20 summit uh, in November of last year. That's not the kind of language that we've heard in months ever since that, that Chinese surveillance balloon was de detected over the U.S. and then shot down by the U.S., and that basically scuppered a planned uh, visit by the U.S. Secretary of State Blinken to Beijing. It could be a sign, these talks last week, that the, the, two, the world's two largest economies are headed towards some kind of uh, common ground, which would probably be welcome. Uh, if you're talking about uh, stability around the world. Absolutely. Watch this space and um, agree on the um, remarkably similar statements to uh, movement here, clearly, I think. Ivan Watson, thank you.